so. Colorado next. That's correct, 47. ICA Intel has just confirmed the exact coordinates of the US-bound signal from Nabazov's dead man's trigger. It's remote. Sounds perfect. Quite. We've borrowed an NSA satellite, and so I'm looking at the location now. It appears to be some kind of paramilitary compound, but intel is limited. However, we do have a positive ID on another of Nabazov's disciples, a medical doctor with a live sample of the Nabazov virus. Small place for a dispersal. Maybe just a test? Or an act of desperation. We cannot allow this to spread, 47. I'm uploading a full briefing to your laptop. Review as soon as you can. All right, 47. Your primary target is medical doctor and radical cultist Bradley Payne. Intel confirms that Payne has already infected a number of unsuspecting militia operatives with the Nabazov virus. Initial examination of the virus show it to be incredibly infectious and utterly lethal. Fortunately, there is no indication that the virus has spread beyond the compound. However, in order to prevent any contagion, pain must be eliminated, along with any infected mercenaries. To remove the risk of exposure to the virus, we're recommending you go long range for this one. I will be providing intel upon touchdown, identifying targets for you once you've set up your sniper nest. Good luck, 47. Welcome to Colorado, 47. Your primary target is Dr. Bradley Payne. From what I can determine, he's already infected a number of militia members with Nabazov's virus. To ensure containment, we must eliminate everyone who has been in contact with it. I'm pulling up details on whom that might be, and will pass it on to you as soon as possible. It will be piecemeal, however. I suggest you do not engage the primary target until we are certain that all the infected have been eliminated. Good hunting. I'm looking at the data now. I'll have some intel for you shortly. You're looking for a target in the central greenhouse area. Possibly in the nearby orchard or field canteen. There's something here. The target is on a laptop, 47. Not sure why. Let me check his squid logs. Oh. I do hope he has someone to clear his browser history. I have some more information here, 47. The target has a gardening blog. I see pictures that match the orchard. Check for someone taking care of the plants. Can you see him? That's the first infected target eliminated, 47. I'll have information on the next one momentarily. I'm seeing references to assault training in the target's dossier, 47. He's likely to be near the barn or shooting range. I have something, 47. The target is on a break near the barn. He's a chess player. See what you can spot. Wait one second, 47. I have an update. This might be tricky to spot, but you're looking for someone sweating a lot. Most likely a symptom of the infection. Have you located the target? Target down. Excellent. 
I'll have information on your next target shortly. Your target has a police record, explosives and banks. Charming. Check the explosives range near the windmill. I have some information, 47. The target is assigned to safe cracking. Something of an expert, apparently. Look for someone setting up explosives on the safe. That is your primary target, CDC Dr. Bradley Payne. I suggest we locate and eliminate all secondary targets first, 47. This should help you narrow the search down a little. This indicates the target is engaged in record keeping, but nothing online. Look for someone with a clipboard. Do you have the target? Elimination confirmed. Good work. I'll have intel on the final infected target shortly. The target is close to the main house. Let me see. The target is highly fit. He has a strict regime of cardio training. Look for someone running or jogging. Right. This should be helpful. The doctor's journal indicates the target is suffering from nausea and vomiting due to ongoing collapse of the assault. And that's the last of them. Poor bastards. Now to retire the doctor. Let me just confirm. Yes, that's all of them. Good. We're done here, 47. Get out of that tower and head for the airstrip.